because this is the fundamental issue of cancer. It's a mitochondrial metabolic disease. So you have to look at if it's breast cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, bladder cancer, every one of those cells is blowing out lactic acid and sucking in glutamine. So they're all doing the same thing. This is the fundamental, this is the paradox. This is the whole concept. Mm -hmm. All cancers are the same disease. So once you realize that all the tumor cells are suffering from the same metabolic malady, and they're all dependent on glucose and glutamine for driving the, the, the pro proliferation of that cell, then you just have to target glucose and glutamine. The question is, who's doing this? Now, the, no one. And, and they're doing it with toxic drugs, or they're trying to find a, a novel drug that will target one aspect of the metabolic problem without, without targeting the other aspects of the metabolic problem. So, so you begin to say, why is the, you have to have motivation. Most of the motivation in the cancer world is to make drugs that are going to be very profitable. All right. Right. So, so profitability is a motive, a, dri a driving motivation for the cancer industry. Now you, you have to have a unique drug that can be patented. And that drug is designed to target one specific pathway. To manage cancer, you must target multiple pathways simultaneously without harming the rest of the body. And we realize the way to do this is cocktails and dirty drugs. A dirty drug is a drug that will target multiple pathways simultaneously. Very hard to patent a drug like that. But the art is your issue to make money or is your issue to resolve the disease? It's a very simple question. Do you want to resolve cancer or do you want to profit from cancer? So, and the issue here is that you, you can, people will say, maybe we can do both. Well, where, where I see the, the interest now is the food industry has become very interested in how they could make profit on particular diets that might be able to enhance glucose and lower ketones in a certain context. But again, this will not completely resolve the disease for most people. You will need drugs that work together with the diet to create uh, a, a, a better control of all of the various pathways that are driving the metabolism of these tumor cells. And the best way to do that is the way they did it in AIDS. Uh, you use a cocktail of drugs uh, that, uh, that just target simultaneously multiple different systems, and then you will achieve the same level of success that the AIDS community experienced. But, you know, cancer community is not organized like the gay community. The gay community is a highly organized group of people on a, on a singular focus. And they were able to get Washington by marching on Washington and telling the federal government that we don't want large long-term clinical trials. We want something that we can manage this disease. So they came up with this, with this drug cocktail, which did a very good job. Unfortunately, the cancer patients are not mobilized. They are not marching on Washington. They're biking and running for Susan Coleman, pink, pink ribbons and all these kinds of things. And then they give their money to organizations that perpetuate the gene theory. So you, you are lo locked into this vortex of, of problems that people can't seem to get out of, whether in the pharmaceutical industry, the academic industry, or the federal government. So there's no concerted effort of a demand on the part of the population to say, we want hard, uh, 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 we want a result on this cancer. Because it, in my mind, it can be absolutely resolved the same way as AIDS was. Not to say we cure everybody, but we can certainly drop that death certificate by 50% if you focus on what I'm saying. And it's very clear. It's based on solid foundation science that's been collected for over 100 years. We just have abandoned our, uh, that. We've made cancer out to be this incredibly complicated disease. Millions of genes all defective, and we have to go, wade our way through. That's absurd if it's not a genetic disease. It's a complete waste of time and money and energy. So this is the reason we're not making the major progress. We're focusing on the wrong thing. It's just, it gets you crazy. When you know that there's a solution to this and you see everybody doing these other stupid things, they published in the top journals. Oh, it must be good. It's published in Science and Nature. I said, how many people on the cancer deathbed are going to get excited by reading a paper in Science and Nature about some signaling cascade that's not going to have any relevance to their situation? So, you, you know, what are you going to do? You want to, you, you want to perpetuate this for the next hundred years? I, I think we can solve this problem. But nobody seems to, very few people are, 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 seem to be interested in it uh, or understand it. 
or, or think it's all, uh, you know, hocus pocus mumbo jumbo. You get this all the time. You know, it's just like crazy. I, I interviewed uh, Travis Christopherson, who's the author of a, a wonderful book, Cancer yeah. is a Metabolic Disease. Oh, no, sorry, Tripping Over the Truth, Cancer is a Metabolic right. Disease is your book. Um, and he hinted that you had some exciting research that you were going to be doing in your lab um, very soon. Can you talk about that research at all? Well, our, our research is very simple. Uh, first of all, we've developed the best tools. You can't make an advance in a field without having a powerful tool, Okay. So the tool is development of, of model systems, preclinical systems that m manifest the exact characteristics that we see in the human disease. So you have to realize most cancer research are done on artificial systems that do not reflect the key, the key aspects of systemic metastasis or invasion. We've developed those model systems here, and we have never found anything that can cure these animals, all right, period. We've used the best standards of care. We've used every kind of a therapy that's currently used, not every kind, but the majority of what people use, toxic drugs and this and that. We don't, we don't cure these mice. People say, oh, you cure mice all the time. That's not true. When you have a mouse that has the same kind of disease as the human, you're no, longer, you're no more successful in curing that mouse than you are in curing the patient that has the same disease. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's number one. Number one, you must have a tool that, repl that really replicates what you see in the human. So then, based on our knowledge, we have to build cocktails and procedures and, and, and do it in the, in the right strategy and in the right sequence uh, uh, to do this. And this is not sexy science. The, the academic industry doesn't get excited about this because it's not sexy. You got to have some new gene that controls a pathway to be success to, to be sexy. Our goal is not sexy. Our goal is to resolve the damn disease. Okay, you don't have to be sexy about that. You just have to know what to do. So once we resolve the disease, we can go back and figure out all those interesting mechanisms. But if we get if we get sidetracked looking at a mechanism that we're not 100 percent sure that it's going to resolve the disease, why waste the time and energy looking at that when it's not going to be a part of the ultimate resolution? So our focus now is going right for the throat of this disease. We have to shut down those key pathways that are driving the proliferation of those, of those cells. Once we show that and we can resolve the disease in these preclinical models, then it will be a very easy step to translate that strategy into the clinic. And parts of this have already been translated. I mean, ketogenic diets done in the right way slow the tumors down. Okay, that's showing you the press concept. The pulses, what are the, what are the other component? what are the other... Uh, approaches that we add to this diet, Co uh, drugs and hyperbaric oxygen and a variety of other approaches that we can get synergistic interactions from the whole to, to assure that we're going to get a better outcome. Uh, this, is, this is not insolvable. This is a problem that is not insolvable. It has a clearly defined endpoint. The majority of the oncology field is not doing this. They're looking at singular drugs and double-blind crossovers in these, in these clinical trials that cost a horrific amount of money that only the pharmaceutical companies can afford. Uh, so, and you're using a singular drug, and you're coming out, if you give this patient three months long of, longer of life, the, federal, the uh, Food and Drug Administration approves it, and they make millions of dollars on it until they realize you're, and, and, and it's, it, it, it doesn't work that well. And then they make a new one and, and, the, and the beat goes on and then on and they keep making derivatives of this. When they're not getting to the heart of the problem, the resolution of the disease, non-toxically. It would be one thing to say that we can never do this. We can do it. It's not insolvable. It's not that complicated. It's unbelievable. So this is what we're doing. The problem is you can't get any money for this stuff. Federal, it's very hard to get money to do non-sexy science. The, 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 the thing of it is, is because the, uh, the guys reviewing the grants want to see a novel gene mechanism by which the signaling cas cascade, what is the mechanism? You're looking at mechanisms before you know whether the mechanisms work or not. So can we resolve the disease first? Let's focus on that. And the mindset is this is a gene, if this is a gene-based disease, you can't come up with a solution quickly. You have to spend years and decades trying to figure all this out. It's not a genetic disease, it's a metabolic disease. There's only two fuels that are driving this: glucose and glutamine. How do you shut these down without harming the rest of the body? This is not an insolvable problem, believe me. It's just 